Okay, here's my 87 RX-7 for sale. Just gonna show you a quick video. It's a car running. seat over there uh, it's uh it's set in place it does need uh, some better securing sparkle steering wheel sparkle floor mats pedals you see the car running sparkle knob do have a rear seat I put the kids back there. Just want to take a video of the back. Do have a Pioneer radio? I'll throw that in there. Just a hatch. Just go ahead and close this. Uh, just go inside real quick. Yes. 
steering wheel. Obviously, it has uh, about 165,000 miles on it. Uh, you know, it's got idle issues like any RX-7 would. Uh, the engine's still OEM. Uh, it obviously needs rebuilding. It does suffer from hot start issues. Uh, that was a fuel cutoff you just saw there. Uh, and of course, you know, of course, if once you get the car running, it runs pretty good. Uh, naturally, you know, trying to restart it. You gotta play around. You gotta have a good, strong battery, and, uh, and of course, play around with the fuel cutoff switch just to get it going again or, or let it cool down. Uh, but again, it does need rebuilding. Uh, you know, some of the body I've got a few dings and dents, especially on the hood. We did have a hailstorm a few years ago, and there's probably three small dents on the hood. Uh, I do have the uh, OEM tires. I do have brand new Cooper tires on the original tires, so we'll be throwing a set of those in there as well. But again, this is a good project car. For somebody that wants to take the time to uh, you know, re rebuild the engine, get it going again, took it to a few car shows, uh, walked away with a few trophies. You know, they're in its prime. But I'm moving on. I gotta, you know, just tired of messing around with it. It's time for uh, an RX-7 enthusiast out there to pick up on it. So let me uh, show you the OEM tires, and we'll wrap it up. Again, a, f a set of four Cooper tires with plenty of uh, thread left on them. These are the OEM RX-7 tires. Let's see if I can get it out of here. So you can see, they're all here. And this is probably good if you plan on driving a car in the snow in the winter time. You got, like I said, you got plenty of uh, thread there. So, all right, uh, go ahead and put this on YouTube and. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, we'll make a sale. Thank you.